Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Bahamas. Um, we are in the CRJ 700. Um, the uh, let's see here, Caribbean Airlines delivery, looking beautiful. I really think it's slick looking. Uh, Like looking over here, really. Um, we are seven minutes, six minutes now from our top of descent. Um, the whole reason of this flight, let me get this out of the way. So somebody earlier on one of my, I've been doing like a bunch of, a bunch of, uh, you know, preview videos of Sim Update 11. And somebody said, well, geez, it's not real hard to uh, to get good frame rates when you are flying over the water in a small plane. And there is some truth to that. And so I thought, well, um, excuse me while I have a coughing fit. Um, and I thought to myself, well, you're right, so why don't I get out of an airplane uh, that I haven't flown in quite a while. And we'll see what kind of performance we get. And right now, we are in route from... Uh, we are in route from uh, Princess Juliana to Miami because going the other direction wouldn't make any sense. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm going to get my approach charts pulled up here on my iPad, even though I've already got them on. All right, there's the ta there's that. Let's get you. Let's get my taxi chart. And let me get my vice to arrival chart. Okay, so now I'm a happy guy. All right, so um, I guess the first question is, what? Uh, well, the first question is, let's get ourselves ready for the descent here. I haven't flown this airplane in quite a long time, so you're gonna really have to bear with me on this one. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. V nav all over here descent info all right so um let's see here let's dial in our next altitude is going to be uh ba -ba -ba, wilma's at Flight level 280, so let's dial in that altitude. I've got the he the headset simulation on, so you don't really hear any noise. Once we hit top of descent in three minutes, then we're going to go to uh, vertical speed mode and target our descent speed there. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's gorgeous around here. I guess, so what I was going to say was the first question is obviously, what is my frames per second right now? And it's 30, um, which is not... <clears throat> Not unexpected, pardon me for, pardon me for, uh, pardon me for, uh, I'm clearing my throat here in your ear. So, um, let's see, there is a way to, yeah, there we go. Uh, 
and cabin panel. We'll get a little bit of the lighting on there. There we go. All right, so. We've got one minute to go. I'm going to go vertical speed mode and vertical speed. We're going to bring this down. Bring the power back here so we don't overshoot. Our speed. So of course the real trick is going to be once we get into like the Miami area, right? So descent landing level is set. Fuel is checked and good. And let's see, by silo we want flight level 21, flight level 210, so let's just dial this right down. And it's going to be a miracle if I pull this off. It's 21,000. That's exactly right for Siler. I screwed up the V-Nav for Wilma's, obviously, but now we've got our little arc right at 21,000 uh, for Siler, which is what we want. A little bit of power out there, and let's keep doing our checklist. TCAS. TCAS. Where is TCAS? Uh, I don't know where TCAS is. TCAS. Oh, there we go. TCAS is set. I knew it was right there. Um, the cast is empty, uh, or blank as the case may be. Alright, performance data. Right now we got VREF at 132. Um, Let's go. Jets is at fifteen thousand. So let's set 15,000 for jets now. All right. 
15,000 for jets. And... Gonna add just a bit of power. Try to get that little arc to push its way out there. Actually, that's a bad idea. Let's not do that. Um, right, let's set the speed for 250 knots once we get to 10,000. Looks like I'm kind of doing a van manual VNAV here because it's not really showing me, at least on this page. 15, it's weird too, there's 15,000 and then 16,000. <clears> well, maximum 16,000, so below 16,000, which is what we're going to be. So... Alright, so we're set to get the jets there at 15. Um, I would think that I should probably brief my approach here shortly. Alright, uh, landing data set. Approach briefing. Let's brief our approach, ladies and germs. Um, bu 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 ILS. Alright, ILS approach here. An eye on her. El Todd, max ten thousand. Right, so I'm going to keep dialing the speed or the altitude down, rather. Max 10,000 at Eltad. Uh, let's find our Miami altimeter. Miami altimeter, please. Can I have the Miami altimeter? Is there any chance I can have the Miami altimeter, please? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go details. Miami altimeter, 299 or 8. Alright. So, 2908. Never noticed that those two, it shows both of them right there, which is great. Alright, so. And LTAD. Okay, so rain showers in the area, few clouds at 10,000, scattered at 3,300, overcast at 400. It's probably just an anomaly from the uh, equipment. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, temperature 18, 2.16. That sounds a little weird. But that's what it is. Winds are three four zero at eight. We're we flying the runway two six left approach here today. And uh, let's see here. One of the rules of instrument flying is if things are going too fast for you. Slow down. It's good advice, right? So, 
Ah, uh, that's probably it right there. That's probably it right there, that little blue dot. I'm going to guess that that little blue dot gets me to where I want to be when I want to be there. So as we're slowing down, that's definitely going to help. Um, okay, so uh, I want to keep an eye on where we are here. You're doing the. Uh, we are doing the. What are we doing? We are doing the. Uh, what is it? Device to arrival in Miami. All right, so I'm gonna pull this in a little closer here. So there's Vice, which is max sixteen thousand, El Todd max ten thousand, and then Suez is a max six thousand. All right, so. Um, FMS 1, all good. Alright, the Avis, we've got the weather approach, we've got that. Da, 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 da. Localizer 101.9, final approach course 2072. Agler is our glide slope intercept is 1600. And yeah, there's some weather up there, isn't there? down to 6,000 now. So we want 6,000 at Suez, which is right here. Miami traffic, Caribbean 264 is 45 miles to the west, inbound on the vice to arrival. We're going to be coming into runway 26 left, Miami. All right. Yeah, we got some weather. Okay, so Mr. Proach climbed to 800. Uh, climbing right turn to 4,000, heading a 290. You want to do it? Okay. Transition level, we have transition. And do it to slow down just a little bit. Got Shan, then Basho, then Agler. So Shan, and after that is Basho and Agler. Okay. 
Bash was at 3,000, Angler was at 1,500, 1,600, excuse me, it's a 272 inbound approach course. Um, let's see, ground speed's going to be, what, 140 knots? So, yeah, it's a good idea. Turn the seatbelt sign. Uh, let's turn our landing lights on. Um, okay. I'm relatively comfortable with the approach. So once we cross the Swedes, we got... I'm going to start slowing us down because, frankly, I might need it. First notch of flaps is at 2.30. And here we go, kids. Into the clouds. Let's see what this does. Okay. Let's see what this does to our emotions and our flying. Alright, so 6,000. Now we gotta dial it down to 3,000. We are, I do believe, closer in than I realize. I want to put the first notch of flaps. Miami traffic, uh, Caribbean 264 is 25 miles to the west, inbound runway 26 left, Miami. Alright, um, no, 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 let's slow that down here, let's slow that down here. Something weird about doing this in the clouds, it just takes away your comfort level. So if we go Shan and then Basho. FPS is 29. Looking good on that front. Basho is 3,000. We go eight flaps. go there's Miami right there let's go 20 flaps that's where we're gonna want to bring some power in all right and now we are turning on to the approach and we are definitely going to bring some power in 
American Warm Center and I know turning now on the other approach on the two six right. Section two six left may I check. And Miami traffic, America, uh, Caribbean 264 is 8 miles south of Basho, inbound on the 26 left, uh, Caribbean, uh, Miami. And boy, let's get some power and we're really going to be... Roger, looking out, Mike, and one seven two nine. Roger, Mike, and 4 landing Caribbean 264, can you tell me your speed? Uh, speed is currently 130 knots for Caribbean 264. Roger. American 1709 on our approach, only 26 left holding back action. Now 180, not until 3 miles. Flaps 30. And Miami traffic, Caribbean 264, three miles from Basho uh, inbound to ILS 26 left. Miami. And what's my next out? And we got flaps down. Once we hit Basha, we are going gear down, kiddos. Arm the thrust reversers. Miami traffic, Caribbean 264, Basho inbound, uh, ILS 26 left, Miami. Do you have your minimum speed in the head in uh, 1729? Uh, Caribbean 264, we're going to be about 140 knots on the uh, approach 26 left. Roger. Coming down nicely. Alright, gear is down and indicating flaps are down. Now it's just a matter of binding the power setting that's going to keep our airspeed. Air 
Tire speed's looking pretty good right now. So I'm pulling this, I'm putting that away because I got the chart in the iPad. Speed is pretty good. Sixteen hundred. Speed is slowing just a little bit. FPS right now is about twenty. So yeah, it's definitely getting a little choppy. Little bit of power. We are Agler, so we've got Miami traffic, uh, Caribbean 264, 5 mile final runway, 26 left, uh, Miami. So my minimums here are 209. And a miracle it is, there is an airport in front of us, ladies and germs. There's 1,000 feet. Little touch of power. Miami traffic, Caribbean 264, two and a half mile final one, maybe 26 left, Miami. And frames per second is just plummeted right now. American uh, 1779 on the cable. Oh, 14. Now it's back up to 25, mid 20, so it's kind of jumping around. I can't really hear what that guy is saying. Um, looking real good. Autopilot off. Five. And you put that bar right back up. Just in case. You need to go around. Boy, I haven't landed a jet in a long, long time. And this is not looking good. Three hundred. Two hundred. Sink rate. Oh. Sink rate. One hundred. Sink rate. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. That was a piss poor landing, kids. Yeah. I mean, a really piss poor landing. <laughs> Alright. Let's just get clear of the runway here. Frame rates right now about 25. Priority right now is getting off the runway. That's a just an awful landing, but it, you know to be expected. Okay, I mean, I'm relatively pleased with how I handled the approach. I mean, given that uh, I haven't flown a jet in ages, and this is just a totally different ballgame. Miami traffic, Caribbean 264, clear runway 26 left. Frame rates right now are about 25, 24, 25.
and this is the part where everybody in this it's kind of weird they're testies <laughs> that's kind of a weird visualization um frame rate's now about 25 now it's dropped to 18 But, uh, you know. It's what is 25 right now. They still don't even have respect for each other. Look at that. Frame rate's still at 25, 24. So I guess what this flight has told me is that the frame rates aren't too bad. I mean, I'm sure if I turn some stuff down, they, you know, I mean, this is these are the same settings that I have all the time, which is to say pretty much ultra on everything. You know, like a stock ultra. I mean, not like, you know, TLOD at 400 or any nonsense like that. Uh, pretty much just uh, like a stock ultra. I'll show, as a matter of fact, when we're done here, when I taxi in here, I will show you. Rain looks great. I mean, I think that, that looks really cool. Kind of wish I had had. Some some uh Yeah, I know, come on. Yes, can we, can we turn that off? No. I guess we're not gonna turn this engine off. not turning that engine off. I don't know. Put on my parking brake. I don't even know what that is. Alright, I'm going to try this one more time and then I give up. Okay, I give up. Um, uh, let's just... Uh, Well, let's see what it's going to do here. 22 in the frame rates. Shut down. Parking brake set. Seat belts off. Uh, yeah, I guess my my passengers are pretty peeved right now. Um, thrust reverser is off. Uh, Anti-ice off. Fuel pumps off. Beacon off. Nose wheel steering is off. Get all the lights off. Still not sure why this engine. Won't shut off, but it won't shut off. Okay. All right. All right. I'm boring you all to tears. So let's just bag all this. All right, so let's look at my options. So 
Uh, bah, 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 bah. Render scaling 100, I don't even know what that means. Uh, Vsync on, monitor refresh rate 50% of monitor, which is uh, 60 hertz, so it's set, it's stock, it, you know, stopped at 300, blocked, capped at 300, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Um, DX11. Now, 215, 115, ultra, 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 high. I turn that turn that down just because I don't really care about grass and bushes that much. Volumetric clouds, ultra, texture resolution, ultra, da, 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 ultra. Water waves, high is as high as you can go. Um, windshield effects, da, 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 all that fun stuff. Right, so it's pretty much... Pretty much, um, pretty much high, uh, pretty much ultra for everything. Uh, and if I could figure out, uh, what if I, what, how, how else can I possibly turn the engine off? And what? What else might I be able to do? Oh, I think they're, I think it's upset because that is. I think it's upset because that is, uh, thrust of us was still armed. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Um, Let's see, options, next page, calibrate throttle, dual axis, da 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 da, no, alright, so anyway, for whatever reason, maybe if I just shut the fuel off, I might do it. This is getting to be a comedy of errors. Just shutting everything off. And that way, the engine will be forced. Maybe. Still not going to shut down, apparently. I mean, at some point, you'd figure that engine would shut down. Right? You'd figure with, like, no... Hydraulics, no electrical power. You'd figure at some point it would be okay. Stop. I will stop. So, um, in any event, let's hop in the old, let's hop in the old funny camera here, and go flying around Miami. Um, right. there's my jet that won't. Stop flying. So, this is Miami. Twenty seven frames per second, twenty eight. I'm going to flip on Batscope and see if any of these people are actually real here. Parked up over there. Nah, some of these people are real. But, uh. <laughs> it's me. My plane with the engine moving. Um, so. Yeah, here's Miami Airport. Southwest, you got your EasyJet. I don't think EasyJet flies here, but. 
25 frames per second. I mean, the, look at the weather. The weather looks awesome. I mean, the weather looks really awesome. These clouds look foreboding. And I'll tell you what, flying into them uh, was a bit of a an uneasy feeling, too. Southwest. That's your airport beacon right there. What does that green light tell you? The green and white light. Come on, private pilot students. What does the green and white light tell you? The green and white light tells you that it's a civilian airport. The white light tells you that it is... No, the white light white light would be solid if it was IFR. So. Oh, that's cool. This guy up here. This guy right here is on Batsim. Twenty-seven frames per second. I'm gonna make you a star, buddy. All right, so he's on Batsim. He is BWA Flight 484. He's from Piarco. Four hour, three hours and 40 minutes. In the old, uh, what do we got here? It's the uh, 738. It's the, the pilot himself is in Canada. Really don't have too many uh, too many vats and pilots on the ground here right now. It's just he and I. Um, but anyway, uh, performance. I mean, you know, certainly could be better. But again, I've got my I've got my my uh, settings cranked up pretty high. So mid twenties on the way in. A couple drops in. Uh, into the teens, uh, no big deal. I'm sure if I just, you know, drop my settings a little bit, it would be just fine. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the flight. I did. Uh, it was cool to be back in the CRJ. Love that airplane. And I hope you guys are doing well.